Jackson TV where we're kicking into vacay mode right here at Panama House in beautiful Bondi Beach. Oh, How are you summer. feeling, Kurt? Summer doesn't get much better than this, Christy. It is good to be here with you, of course. A lovely, uh, well, I appreciate the granola. Um, I yeah, said surprise you watch menu. your midsection. I know, you? summer bodies, uh, well, it's too late to save this summer body, but um, we've got a big show coming up, and I tell you what, this is one of the biggest stunts I've ever been a part of, of course. A cage dive is what's happening. Two minutes, holding my breath, shackled. Just uh, with the sheer will to survive, the only thing saving me, a five metre crocodile circling the cage. It's a wild stunt. You know, I cannot wait to see you die. <laughs> <laughs> Sport and hatred. What a stiff cocktail you've served up, just like they do here at uh, Panama House. But uh, I can tell you what, as one of Australia's leading showmen, I'm excited and thrilled to, uh, well, perform a stunt like this towards the end of the series for a yeah. nice little rating spike. I believe it was Kosha who once said, it's a small price to pay to have lost a colleague in order to gain some, some ratings. So, yeah, he also yeah. claims it's a receding hairline that he's got. The, the hairline's oh. sort of back to here now. We love you, Koshi. We love you, Koshi. <laughs> Aside from potentially disappointing stunts, uh, we do have a fantastic show coming up for you. We've got crop diving. We've got how you can win a million dollars just by fishing. Now, as our loyal viewers know... Yes, all 26 of them, all of them from Western Tasmania. Correct. This is the segment of the show where we get to answer your questions. But first, I have a question. Curls, with this ambitious stunt of yours, mm. I mean, aside from ratings, just why? Why? Let's do a, an AMA. Let's do an Ask Me Anything right now. We'll kick it off. What's your first question? Uh, why did you do this stunt? Christy, great question. Thanks for asking me that. I'll answer that one to everyone right now. As a young child, I had a dream of one day growing up and submersing myself in a crystal glass tank, shackling myself, escaping on national digital television, like a, a network that's uh, got great, great ratings and great viewers like Seven Mate. Wow. As a, you... as a kid. Really must have been a problematic child. I was, I was really weird. I was exceptionally strange as a child. Let's see Maxim Hale. Well, we've cracked open the Maxim at Maxim.com.au inbox and there's some pearlers here this week. Uh, love to hear from you though. Keep them coming through. Maxim at Maxim.com.au. Uh, Mick, who's 38 from Darwin, says g'day. G'day, he does indeed. G'day, Christian Curls. Uh, g'day, Mick G'day. Thank you, mate. Did I see the old curl dog wetting his whistle in the main street of Darwin last Thursday night? You're yeah, guilty as charged, Mika. We're up there uh, doing a bit of a shoot, a stunt with crocodiles, but also checking out the million dollar fish competition where you can win a million bucks just by going fishing for Barra up Amazing. in the top end. More about that later on. Christy, uh, there's one here for, well, for both of us, but from Rachel, who's 25 in Noosa. Uh -huh. Great part of Australia. This time of year as well, Noose is on fire. It's a belter. Rachel says, loving season two of the show and loving all the girls you show each week. Uh, can we see more Victoria's Secret models? <laughs> can oh, we? I think we can. Yes. My favourite is Lily Aldridge. Wow. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I met uh, Lily Aldridge a few years ago. She's a, uh, an absolute legend. We've got a, a cracking interview with her. Uh, we had a, uh, a swimsuit shoot with her a couple of weeks ago, but this interview is uh, it's, it's, it's almost an AMA. Let's roll the footage and find out those secrets. A little bit of both. I guess city though, because I was born in the city. <laughs> Soccer. I gotta go with the Lakers. I mean, I'm from LA, and when Kobe and Shaq were it, it was everything. 90s for sure. Tequila. I love Jay Z. I like a beard, I like a nice beard. I am 1,000% a dive bar kind of girl. Rock and roll. When the Levy Breaks by Led Zeppelin is one of my favorite songs of all time, so Led Zeppelin. Coming up on Max and TV, driven by Altitude, we tell you how you can win a million bucks just for fishing with your mates. Beautiful brainiac Chloe Harrell offers some sage advice, and my co-host here performs an insane stunt. Now we only read a select few pieces of correspondence from our Maxim Mail, but yes. this next segment actually gets a lot of fan mail. Yeah, a lot of fan mail about the uh, the bike review, the Harley review I did. There's a few coming through on that one, yeah? I'm actually talking about our cover girl, Chloe Harrell, who just graduated getting her Masters of Psychology. Well done, girl. She's an absolute legend, also a Maxim cover girl, but generally cares about the mental well-being of the country. Here's psychology. It's no secret that Australians love a good cold beer. Or three but sometimes this can turn into something more serious. Substance abuse occurs when the person has an inability to control the use and intake of substances, even when it's causing considerable psychological, social and physical problems. The person may also seem dependent on the substance. This is shown by the person having an increased tolerance, typical withdrawal symptoms upon stopping, increasing larger quantities because of the tolerance and unsuccessful attempts at trying to quit. 
Overall, men are twice as likely as women to have substance use disorder, usually alcohol. However, only 24% of Australians with this disorder seek professional help. If you or someone you know seems like they are abusing any type of substance, we encourage speaking to someone you trust and seeking professional help. Now, Curls, you got up to the top end last week, didn't you? Certainly that's did. Not a sex position, just could to be, clarify. Could be, though. I got you a, a lovely little uh, souvenir, though, low budget. Aww. All the, the best front pages from the NT News. Some funny mm. stuff in there. I Cracking. genuinely love it. Um, mm. it's, it's hilarious. Got I a favourite? I, I do, in fact. Um, look, uh, it reminds me of Garfield. It's a cane toad. Guys. That's an imported pest. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of similar. It's a lovely introduced species, old Garfield, but the reason we are uh, we were up there, of course, was the Million Dollar Fish Competition. Basically, you and your friends can catch five barramundi at the moment, released in the wild with a million dollar tag on it. So if you catch it and you're registered at milliondollarfish.com.au, you will win a million bucks. So simple. Great way to uh, have some fun with the friends, that's for sure. Absolutely. What an insane competition. You do have to be registered. And now Curls here actually got some practice in at a barra farm. Let's check it out. <laughs> Now I'm just outside of Darwin, about 45 minute drive to get to Barramundi Adventures. I'm doing some training, getting ready for Million Dollar Fish. If you haven't, I'm going to talk to the Barra boys here at uh, Make sure I know exactly what I'm doing before I go out there chasing the big seven figure fish. Hopefully a metery as well, a metre plus Barra. Gentlemen, Curly. Curly, Dorian. Pleasure Dorian, to nice to meet you, mate. Hey, Curly, Tommy, nice to meet Tommy, you. Tommy, great to meet you. You've got a couple of uh, couple of cold ones. <laughs> mate, talk us through. What's uh, what's the go here? Barramundi Adventures. So. Yeah, so what it is, we're pretty much we're just sick of everyone uh, poaching our fishing spots, so we decided to make our own. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> we're very passionate about fishing. We're both born and bred territory locals. Yeah, just wanted to make it as easy as possible for people. Uh, yep. Kids, family friendly, safe environment, plenty of fish. This makes Beautiful. barramundi fishing a lot easier. Nice. Well, we're training up for the million dollar fish, obviously trying to get uh, get game ready. I want, I want a million bucks in my <laughs> bank account. What, uh, what's the best sort of popper? Yeah, best as far popper? as lures go. Some people using thongs, some people using all sorts of stuff. Mate, long as it's black. Yep. Yep. Black always works. Black, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Once you go black, you don't go back. Simple as that. Let's get out there, boys. Well, the pressure was on to come up with the goods and whilst the other legends made it look like shooting fish in a barrel, I had zero catches and even less dignity. Until this point. Well done, yeah. mate. Yes, thanks, Dorian. 60 mark, 55, 60 mark, I'd say. Sensational. In the uh, in the training ground. This is yours, mate. Take him. Take him, sir. Get him back in the water before he dies, this one. Yeah. You into kissing the fish before you put him back, or? No, nah, I'll leave that to you, buddy. Yeah, I'll get a little quick look. <laughs> hey, no tongue, no tongue. <laughs> we'll try it again. <laughs> Pick up the beers, that's all. Check out this beast. It's a bit of funny. What's your name, Trey, mate? Yeah, Ernie. Ernie. Curly. Lovely to meet Curly, you. Nice to meet you. What's, uh, what's going on here? The Wildcats. Well, I needed something to get around. I, uh, I'm the fish feeder, right? Eh? Yeah. You know, it's a hell of a job, but someone's got that I'm, I'm talking to everyone. I came to the top end to get some hot tips on catching the big barra and ideally getting one of those million dollar barra money for the million dollar fish comp. Someone caught one, a $10,000 one, just down the river from us here. Well, they're all over the place. Yeah. Do you want to give me a, a bit of a spin in the wildcat? Yeah, jump in. All right, excellent. I've been in the NT a couple of hours, but managed to jump straight into a pool of people that were more genuine, straight up, and just really feel like you've been mates for years. One thing was obvious, this place is pretty hard to feel alone. The Territorians, they call it how it is, and are more than happy to laugh and swear a little with any stranger. This place serves as a solid reminder about what's important. Any uh, any advice for uh, young blokes watching and to live, live a full life? Yeah, just go for it, man. Yeah. Yeah, take no prisoners. <laughs> take no prisoners. Still to come on Maxon TV, driven by Ultratune, James risks his life for the sake of ratings, and our favourite Maxon Fitness. Can't wait to see you in the NT. Welcome back to a death-defying episode of Maximum TV. It is very simple. So basically it's a Perspex cage. We lower it into the water. The, the top is locked. I'm fully shackled within, and then they release the crocs. It's wild. Uh, yeah, I think you made a mistake here, Curls. How would you know? 
Yeah, even if you're not as much as a daredevil as Curls is, you can get into some gnarly situations. And yes, it is that time where the Ultra Tune Rubber Girls help us get out of some unexpected situations. I'll fix it up there. How much longer do you think? Just keep, oh, say when. Say I when, can't. Christy. No, back. There's no going back. Never. There's no going back, mate. Car trouble? Charity begins at home, Curls. Certainly does. She's also on the main stage at 10 and again at midnight. And gentlemen, I can't express this enough. Please ensure you tip her. Well, we've taken Charity, uh, the random acts of kindness, not the dancer, to the streets. Yes, it must be time that Maxine gives back our random acts of street-based kindness. Oh, if anyone from the ATO is watching, Maxine TV is technically a registered charity and exempt from all government taxes. Cheers. No worries. <laughs> I know you're on a road to work. <laughs> Sweet honey. Maxim loves you. Oh, oh, oh. It's a free hard yeah, day yeah, today. Yeah, it's a hard day. Can you come with me? <laughs> I know you've fallen for tons of emails promising the world with extending your manhood. Well, look, over the years I've had an open mind and wallet to these things as I grew up, but luckily we've got an expert in the medical field, Dr Nero, this week, uh, talking us through the, the myths around penis pills and potions. That's right, he's trained in London and New York and performed thousands of surgeries, from burns in third world countries to cosmetic surgery in first world. He's Dr Nero and he's here to talk to you about the short and long of men's members. So basically, you uh, the old trick is that's, that's how Don't you tell point that. that at me. And then you... You can... I'm gonna. Hi, I'm Dr. Nero Sivatharsan. I'm a cosmetic surgeon, and my focus is on male genital enhancement. There are essentially three P's where men are being hoodwinked pills, potions, and PRP. There are absolutely no pills or potions that can increase the length or girth of the penis. So if you receive an email regarding those, press delete. PRP, sometimes known as a vampire facial or O-shot or G-shot, is basically where blood is taken, spun, and the yellow component, which is a plasma, is injected into the tissue. There is no evidence that it works in a cosmetic way to enhance the size of the penis. Essentially, length gives bragging rights in the locker room and girth gives satisfaction in the bedroom. So why is girth more important? In essence, the female erogenous zones are towards the outer part of the vagina, so the outer half of the vaginal vault and of course the clitoris as well. In terms of length, we say approximately 30% of the penis is buried or under the skin and by releasing the ligament, which is a surgical procedure, we can increase the flaccid length of the penis by approximately that amount. Girth can be increased in two ways, non-surgically and surgically. The non-surgical approach involves the use of soft tissue fillers. And essentially, similar to women getting their lips or their cheeks enhanced, we use those fillers to increase the width of the penis. And we can also increase the size of the head or glands of the penis as well. The definitive or gold standard approach is the use of a dermal fat graft. Now, when I do this procedure, I take the tissue from the tummy or lower abdominal area. We essentially create a tummy tuck in the process. And then that tissue is used to carefully wrap around the penis and we essentially then put the penis back into the skin and the penis is now larger. They cannot use their penis for intercourse or any other purpose for about six weeks. At the end of the journey, which is around a year after the operation, men report high satisfaction rates, both in the bedroom and beyond. So 
penile augmentation surgery can have a life-changing and profound effect on the confidence and function of men in society. Hey, have you ever found love at the gym, Jimmy? Not really. I found Tinia once. you got to wear thongs in the bathroom. Ooh, you should Tough definitely lesson. see a doctor. Yeah. Uh, sorted. It's all good. Uh, it is time for Maxim Fitness, though, but let's be honest, it's not really about fitness anymore. It's, it's a love story. No. And here's the burning question. Will this be the episode that Alexa and Garfield finally get together? The lawyers say no. Alexa here and welcome to Maxim Fitness. Today we are going to talk about a very important thing called grip. Yeah, you know, my right grip is way bigger than my left grip. Can you fix that, maybe? Really interesting that, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you know yeah. what they say about strong grip? Strong back. So grip strength is usually important and Garfield's been telling me that his grip strength especially on the left, has been waning a little bit, so I thought I'd give him a little bit of a helping hand. You know, this journey's been amazing. I've learnt so much. I've become a more rounded human... Well, not rounded, but rounded emotionally, and, you know, it's, it's just been... It's been overwhelming. It's been awesome. And, and I really... I love Alexa. Can, can I say that? Is that okay? Yeah? Yeah, I love Alexa. She's great. I feel great around her. I'll never feel that way about anyone else ever again. She's the best. She's just really motivated. I'm not quite sure what by, though. You know, Tiara and I haven't spoken a lot, well, at all, in fact, but I do feel like there's a real connection there, like there's something happening. When I'm around Tiana, there's just this really great, playful energy between us. I really like it. I think Garfield has some expectations that potentially aren't quite on the same line as mine when it comes to performance, but we're getting there. After the break, Curly performs the ultimate escape act, donuts to drool over, and we bust open the vault to unleash the fiercest woman ever to appear on Maxim. Curls, you have been talking up, diving with a five meter croc, all episode, I need to see footage. I certainly have. We're about to play the uh, the clip right now, but basically the, the mental preparation is huge. Of course, physically you've got to be in peak form, but mentally the work goes in. All right, control. sure, talk us through this prep, bud. And so I woke up in Sydney, had breakfast with a friend, jumped on a flight, went to Darwin, uh, and did the stuff for lunch. Behold, Goldini the Great. Heading to uh, Crocosaurus Cove right now. Going diving with crocodiles. Is it this, uh, this week? Yeah? Just Come. the ones that we don't like. Okay. <laughs> it's only Monday, too. Yeah. Talk us through what's going on here. Oh, well, we're about to chuck in to go for a swim with the crocodile. Uh huh. Do you guys after it? Oh, Are we up for beer tonight or <laughs> what, what's the survival rate on this thing? If, you, if you're mine, you'll definitely yeah. get out of your life. Yeah. 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 All right, here we go. Thanks, boys. The empty inside of you is worrying that the, That was awesome. That was awesome. Our very, uh, very powerful beast, aren't they? Nice. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. It's uh, heavy animals. Heavy animals. A lot of going to leave you on in here. And... Okay. Ha -ha. Good one, Al. Yeah, I'll be back in a second. Yeah, it's been top-end gym, I'm pretty sure. Al? Make it a dozen beers, Al. 
only one more at this season, girls. Oh, yes, next week's going to be the finale of Maxim TV Season 2, and it's going to be full of surprises. Ooh, really? I want spoilers. Well, no, I can't tell you anything. Uh, but it is time to crack open the vault. It is going to be a very special one this week with a very special lady. That's right, it's Ronda Rousey, who's ex-UFC from Blockbuster Films right through to WWE. She's explosive, she's enchanting, and she can knock you out in seconds. Here's Rowdy. See you next time. Cosmetic surgery, actually, let me go yeah. back, sorry. <clears throat> Buried without, oh, damn it. Yeah. Penile surgery, cosmetic, oh. Yeah. Um, that are, actually, sorry, let me go back. Yeah. <clears throat> Please remember, rem oh, 